What's happening guys? My name is Hybrid Graphics and today I bring you point three to my graphics designer basic whatever episode three. Anyways, episode three is gonna be based on creating a logo. So I forget who requested it. There's actually quite a few people requesting it. That we're having a, quite a hard time with doing logos. So first off, let's like just jump right into it. We're gonna be starting with logos that start with a, like a certain letter. You know how logos usually people like making their logos. So say we got a channel that has a capital V as their as their top letter, whatever. Starting in their channel there. Anyways, so we're gonna work with this a bit. We're gonna make it look much better and then create a logo eventually so I didn't think anything through before I made this video so if anything looks bad then my apologies really creating a logo is getting creative basically so, oh. so we're going to duplicate this okay edit transform scale See, already we got something nice going. So, there you go, you have already a logo created. That actually looks very nice. That just came off the top of my head. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a lot of logos out there that have this type of concept going with the double V. So let's delete that. Let's work with something even more harder, such as M. No, capital M. Capital M. Futura, that's their font name if you're wondering. So, what are we going to do with this one? Hmm. Well, let's try something. I just saw something quickly. So, here's a pen tool. You can use this pen tool however you like. So, what the idea was right here was to create strips. All round one. Okay, rest rounds. So sorry about that. I had to pause it quickly. Anyways, we're back. So, as you can see, you can also erase from a certain font. Whatever your font you're working with, you can erase from it. And make it look much better and as you can see we got a nice M right there that looks pretty good actually so now let's open our for the avatar on YouTube it's what I like to use is 500 by 500. It's a nice image size for it. So we have our M put into a 500 by 500 image. Now creating a logo like mine isn't too hard. You want a, a logo somewhat like mine. Creating a professional logo takes quite not that much work really. So, we made the background a nice gray. We're going to double click on the M to open the blending options or whatever logo you had created. We're going to put the gradient on, change it to a gray or whatever you prefer. If you like green, lime green, blue, 
red, a nice orange. You know what? We're going to go with the orange, actually. And we're not done here. It may look good. It actually does look really good. But we're not done. We're going to put an inner glow on it. Let's make the size a bit bigger. And instead of changing this blend mode to screen, let's change it to overlay. And as you can see, that looks very nice. And from here on, we're going to drop a shadow. Let's bring this down to one. Let's bring this all the way up. Now you can have it like that, or you can have it down a bit, but for for me, I want to make it really dark so it stands out a bit. So we got your M here in Photoshop. If you want to finish it, it's up to you, but we're going to continue by making a new layer. And we're going to come over this pen tool first. We're going to change the colors back to black and white. Change it to white. And we're going to click on these both sides. And to move these pen tools, you want to hold control and then drag them around how you prefer. And just click on them and you can drag them around. And to create a curve, you want to click in the middle, which will add another pen tool. Uh, once again, hold control and it will create a cur curve. And then you just go like this, bring this over, bring this over, and connect all the make selection. Use the paint bucket, select, deselect. And from here on, you want to create the blend, change the blending mode to overlay, and then bring the opacity on. Now, honestly, the curvature is a bit too much, so I'm going to quickly redo that. Whoops. I have a lot of fonts, so that's why this is happening, but I didn't mean to click the font anyways. So just one minute. Um, let's see how much time we have. Seven minutes, damn. Okay. Let me quickly do this again. Let's create just a small curvature. My apologies if you can hear someone in the background. I'm not in this room alone. So let's quickly do this. Okay, he just left actually. So it's up to you why you want to put this. I'm going to put it at 25, I guess. Now, once again, the curvature doesn't look that good, but I'm not going to try to make this perfect as possible. Now, looking at this, I think the gray looks a bit too light so we're gonna make it a bit darker and you got your logo right there that's a nice logo so what logos really do is just take a lot of time let's just add something to this what you can do is come over these shapes create a circle if you want okay select let's try that again Now, select, deselect. To make the hole in the middle, you could try getting a perfect round circle like that. There's another way, but I actually got that pretty good. But edit, transform, scale. Now there's your um the circle's not that good. You can make it much better. I'll actually show you because so create a circle we wanna go like that. Select deselect. Oh, one minute. Step back here. Create a new layer first, then do that. And then you're gonna duplicate it, change it to a different color. Edit, transform, scale, bring it down. 
fit perfectly in the middle. Like that. Yes. I'm gonna delete that layer. Select, deselect, and there you got it. Nice, perfect circle. Although it's not that big enough for this, you're gonna have to resize it or something, or recreate it to make it look way better. So logos is basically just erasing and basic logos are usually just erasing different types of stuff using this or the pen tool and erasing whatever, just erasing basically to make a basic one. More advanced logos are usually drawing it out yourself and creating it. Something like my logo it is more of a professional logo I guess. So. We still have a good four minutes. What else can we do? Now that we got that logo done. Um let's delete this. Let's delete this. Um I, I like this logo. I'm gonna use this for whoever wants to buy this logo, I guess. It's only two dollars. I'll sell the logo to anyone who wants it. Although it's a basic one, it actually looks very, very nice, honestly. So, not sure, maybe we're gonna um, stop this early or unsure, really. We still got a lot of time. Yeah, today will be only an 11 minute episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll have put in the um, comments. Any suggestions on episode 4? What I should look more into? I can look more into logos, like drawing it out if you want. Or I could... Well... Not sure. It's up to you guys what you want to get looked at. So, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video. And... Peace!